now the next thing we are going to use is to create a finished ground surface from this corridor simply right click and go to click select the corridor right click the uh, corridor and corridor properties and from here we go to surfaces tab create a surface create a corridor surface and from here let's select the specify codes make sure you have selected links from here and the codes that we are going to use are top code pavement code and sidewalk curb code daylight fill and daylight cut add as break line all of these codes and we will say that overhang correction we will say top links apply and as it is asking again and again always perform my current choice i will check this and it will automatically rebuild the corridor every time i hit the apply button the then i go to boundaries right click here and corridor extend as our outer boundary for the uh, surface that we have created from corridor apply okay now what we see here is another surface that is created from the corridor right click object viewer and you can see here we have a surface it is a smooth surface which shows our finished road levels finished road elevations how our road would look like you can see here this is our road Now, if you go in view, viewports, named viewports, and I change to uh, three viewports, okay, in our right viewport, I will close this, in our right corridor, right viewport, we uh, select the uh, profile, in here we select the sub assembly and in here we select the horizontal, the, uh, horizontal alignment now just notice if we change one of the aspect in this corridor like if i am going to change one thing in sub assembly let's say we change the uh, sub assembly from 3.5 meter to 5 meter you can see here something has changed here right click and i will go and update the rebuild the corridor you will see here all of the aspects have been updated as per the sub assembly let's say uh, let's go here and change our road profile Let's say I am going to update the vertical profile over here. You can see there are some changes at this point. Right click, rebuild corridor, and you can see there are even more uh, changes uh, and dynamic changes are made when we change one thing, the other things will automatically change in Civil 3D. This is how our road looks like.